Hello, everybody. So I've made it to Connecticut. I woke up this morning to a great Jamaican breakfast. As you all could see, there were some plants in there, some fried dumplings, some ackee, and some kalaloo. Favorite meal on earth. Well, anything Jamaican is my favorite meal. Um, if you all did not know, yes, I am Jamaican descent. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, but both of my parents, my mother and my father, are both from Jamaica. So right now I'm at my mother's sister's house in Connecticut. And really, y'all, the best thing about being on the East Coast is that there's Jamaican food everywhere. I don't get that in Houston, Texas. So that is one perk that I am enjoying about being up here, East Coast, New York, Connecticut, all of that stuff. Everywhere I go, I can just get some good food to eat. Um, but yeah, I'll be here for a couple of days. Um, like I was telling y'all before, it's my cousin's 30th birthday, so we'll be going out tonight to celebrate that, and I think tomorrow morning she's gonna do a little brunch, and then um, Monday I'll be heading home to Houston. So I'm really just chilling. I'm not doing much nothing at all kind of working a little bit if y'all don't know or if I haven't mentioned it before I am still a active realtor in Houston Texas so I'm currently looking for some properties for a friend I'm just watching TV on the couch so I'll see y'all later at the shindig wow 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 when I wish you were a kid is wild thoughts wow 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 when I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. grateful to be back in Houston, Texas. My weekend in Connecticut with my cousin was so much fun. Enjoyed that. But, you know, there's obviously no place like home. So y'all can just follow me throughout this week. I'm here. Today is Monday. And I am here until technically I'm leaving Saturday. So till about Friday. I kind of have a week full of things to do, visiting friends, I got to get some real estate business done. So yeah, let's go see what I'm doing on my nine days off from the flying world. <laughs> Say good morning, Spinny. It's bath time. You have a love-hate relationship with bath time, don't you? You hate the water, but you love the bath massage. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got to shake? Aspen, you okay? You got a bath. Come, come on. Be careful. Oh, wonderful! Don't go nowhere. Come back here. Come back here. And he runs. Good Tuesday morning. So I am headed to the park to go get a little workout in. Ever since I started this life transition. Um, doing the flight attendant thing and 
semi moving to New York I haven't been able to get my work in workouts in like I usually like to um, so starting September 1st I'm gonna get back to being dedicated to running my 5k a day again and um, get back in the gym and start lifting weights I've just been feeling like really like tired and my body is just not been right y'all know what it's like like when you work out and then you stop and your body just starts reacting in a negative way so gotta get it gotta get it done I have a goal by 30 which is next June I want to be in the best shape of my life ever so I have to be consistent I have to get it done I need to start eating healthy I'm gonna start packing my lunch for work and all of that good stuff so let me go do my 5k Run to see this plane getting up to 10,000 feet. Y'all see that line? That is the plane going up and up and up. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's why it's important to stay in your seat belts, tray tables up, seat backs up, because the plane is literally at an angle where it is not safe to be up. So it is the third Tuesday of the month and we are having our awards meeting at my Kelly Williams office today. That means it's gonna be so much fun. I've missed these. to go meet up with a client slash friend we are looking for some luxury apartments slash condos maybe even a town home for him today um yeah so when i come home i still gotta work i still do my real estate which is a blessing because i have told you all multiple times before that in your first year or maybe even up to two years or just depending on the airline that you work for the pay is not a lot of money at all like it's not a lot of money you have to really be strict with your budget if that's the only income that you're gonna have so I am just blessed to still be able to balance my real estate career as well with flying around the world and traveling and getting to live that life um, you know it just keeps me financially stable which is very important to me so, yep, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Maybe I'll show you all a few of these condos and things that we have in Houston, Texas to offer if anybody's interested in moving to Houston, Texas. And then later on today, I'm going ice skating, which sounds so weird. It's the middle of August. It's hot as heck. <laughs> and I'm going ice skating. But I have some family in town from Jamaica. Um... And of course I want to spend some time with them while I can since I'm here this week. And that was what they wanted to do. So we're going to head to the Galleria Mall later and go ice skating. Why not, right? So hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully I don't bust my butt on the ice. That would be super embarrassing, which now that I've said it, it probably will happen. 
What do you think of this place? Um, I really like it. It's very spacious, different. The new era look. You, you picked a winner. So, Jay and I probably went and looked at, I want to say almost seven or eight different properties today. And we found one. So excited. It wasn't even on the list, honestly. It was just one that I just so happened to be driving by. And I was like, oh, let's go check this one out. And it, he had the aha moment. Like when you walk in and they go, oh, this is it. <laughs> he had that moment. So now I'm sitting in horrible traffic trying to get to my aunt's house to go pick up my cousin so we can go ice skating. And I don't even think we're going to make it today. I might have to call them and say, let's go tomorrow, which sucks. But let's cross my fingers, say a little prayer that this traffic will go away and I can make it. Finally okay. made it to the ice skating rink. Look at all the little kitties, but I'm not doing it. Too old, my knees hurt too much. I'm gonna let them have fun. Hey everybody, it is Friday, my last day home before I fly back out to New York tomorrow. I have a six day reserve block starting on Sunday, so I need to get to New York tomorrow and get back in flight attendant mode. Um, but right now I'm headed back to my office to finalize some things for my clients that I had this week. And I think I'm also gonna do another video while I'm there. It's just been on my mind lately. Um, I want to do um, a how to become a flight attendant video, so I'll probably shoot that while I'm there too. So look forward to that guys. So I'm here at the grocery store, grocery shopping for my lunch kit, <laughs> grocery shopping for my lunch kit, buying food to meal prep so I can take on trips with me because I, I can't keep spending money at the airport and in restaurants and stopping in every fast food place. Like it just adds up so quickly. So I have a semi full basket there with some stuff. So we'll see what I can whip up and take with me. You did a little bit of damage. $42 worth of groceries. And hopefully last me a week. We'll see how I do. Good morning. So. Friday, no, it's Saturday. I am at IH Airport in Houston, Texas, trying to make my way back to New York. This commuter life, I'm telling y'all, trying to catch flights during the summer. <sighs> and Delta for the win this morning with a non stop flight all the way back to LaGuardia, which I really wasn't wanting to go to LaGuardia because I really need to go to JFK to stop in the crew lounge, but it's better just to take a non-stop flight to New York and then find my way to JFK because these flight loads today and this weather that was going on yesterday, not taking any chances. This is the end of this vlog, y'all. Thank you for rocking with me through my nine days off. Um, life is crazy. I'm still just beyond happy that this is my life and I'm trying to figure out a nice balance between real estate, family, and 
flying so talk to you all later.